If you're up for the challenge of raising chickens, then this video is just for you. In this video, I will show you how to raise chickens the easy way. This took forever to make, so please consider subscribing. Anyways, on with the video. So before getting your chickens, here are some things you should buy. You can really go to any store to get this stuff as long as they are trusted. So here are some things you should buy from the store before you get your chickens. Number one, buying a brooder. Now I did some researching and came up with an average cost of around $100. That's only the information I got from my own chicken brooder that I used to raise my first batch of chickens in, which are the ones that are most important to this channel. The one I use, which is the $100 one, can hold around 10 chickens for about 8 weeks. The price varies big time as to how long you plan on keeping them inside for. There is also another option, just build one yourself. So if you have any plans to raise more chickens, you can save an enormous amount of money since it is only a one-time thing, and you can raise more chickens within it. Another thing that your chickens will need before you get them are waterers. Now there are two types I will be going over in this video, the small ones and the large ones. The small ones are much cheaper but come with a major price, that being the maintenance that is required. You see the small ones cost around three or four dollars, but still, it can be used for five chickens, dividing it into five different parts, each part representing a different chicken. And it will probably take them around 10 hours to drink their part of it. So if you have 10 chickens, let's just say, then you'll need two different waterers. And another downside is the fact that they will likely wear within a year or two. Even if you use it for, well, eight weeks at a time, the chickens simply put it through the toughest of conditions. Fortunately, there is a way around it. It is getting a much larger $7 waterer. These are heavy duty and they can go through the toughest of conditions. The, I've taken them outside during full on hurricanes and yet they still work perfectly. They can last many years and many generations of wear and tear. These are much harder to knock over and can hold many gallons of water at a time. Best of all, it is really easy to recognize what makes it what makes it and that makes it really easy to use for your chickens. And the more obvious one is feeders. These are kind of obvious and don't need explaining. Just open up the feeder and fill it up with feed. You must also buy feed for your chickens. Usually if you have 10 chickens, it will take them about two weeks to use up a bag of chick feeder. So here's a simple equation to help you. X divided by two. X being the number of weeks that your chickens are inside for. Now take that number and divide it in half. And there's the total amount of bags you need. Not dividing the number you get in half, just X in half. If it is a decimal, round it up. After about 12 weeks of age, switch over to egg laying your pellets. Another thing is shavings. You put these on the floor of the brooder. Usually they are $20 a bag, and you should clean the brooder every week or so. And just like the food, it will likely take time, it will likely take around two weeks to use up a bag. So just like the feed, X divided by two. Now obviously there are some other stuff I could have included, but I don't have time to script it, so I just did the bare minimum. Anyways, moving on. Yes, I know I'm lazy. Now here's when the first catch of the video occurs. I don't know what breed of chickens you are getting. So here's a video with descriptions about my recommendations. However, if you don't feel like watching it, I will show you a few clips. Here they are. Seriously, those things can go for as much as $70. These things let these chickens lay around 245 eggs a year and also are known for re relative docile. Relative docile behavior have genuinely positive behavior around humans. So if you really want a good breed for chickens, I'd highly recommend this one. Now that you have your chickens, here is what to do once they arrive at your home. First of all, make sure everything is set up for your chickens, so that way they don't have to wait. Also, I forgot to mention, but heat lamps are a requirement to keep chickens alive. So here's how to work them. Raise it by a few inches every week and lower the temperature by five degrees also every week. The starting point is 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which is something in Celsius. I'll mention it right here. And after that, the temperature should drop. 
keep them inside until the temperature is lowered to around the outdoor temperature. Now, once they are in the house, here's what to do. More often than not, people are going to give your chickens in boxes, so it will be really useful to remove them carefully. Talk in high tone while gently placing the chicken down on the brooder floor. You might also want to sh show the chicken around the brooder, but beware, NEVER HOLD THE CHICKEN UPSIDE DOWN. While they are in their brooder, now is the time to build their future. You always want to make sure their future is set for them, and fortunately, there is a really simple way to do this. Just build their coop. Really simple. Or is it? To learn more about that, I have a video linked in an iCard above. But, here are some tips and tricks. Number one, always prioritize predator proofing the chicken coop and run. The trick is to imagine the predator, how it would get into your chicken coop or run, and then try your hardest to seal it off from them. From them. And also, if you can't build a chicken coop, I would highly recommend getting someone to build the coop for you. Most chicken coops cost around one to three thousand dollars. Another thing is making the run to m make it accessible while also making sure it's just right for your chickens. Always remember that you want a life that is suitable for your chickens, so always make sure the environment is right, while also making sure it is humanly impossible for any predator to get into your chicken coop or run. I may also suggest that you take the extra $400 and buy a trailer to put your coop on, so that way if a predator finds out where your chickens are, you have time to move them away from the threat, and so on and so forth. Next, now that your chickens are usually 8 to 12 weeks old, now you move them into their chicken coop. Here is how to do it. First, introduce them to the outdoors in sessions, usually lasting around 2 to 3 hours, to get them used to the outdoors and the air and their surroundings. Then move them outside. Now leave them in their coop for the next 48 hours, or 2 days. This will tell them where they're going to need to sleep, also showing them where their food, water, roosting bars, and of course, their nest boxes are. And finally, egg laying. For most chickens, this begins at around 28 or 29 weeks of age, but others begin earlier and others begin later. Remember to make sure that you have nesting boxes installed properly and other things to guarantee eggs. Just remember, selling eggs is really hard. For the first three to or four months of egg laying, their eggs will be abnormally small, usually taking three to four eggs just to make your average two eggs. Also remember to make sure that you sell a dozen eggs for three dollars, except there's a catch. You need to put six dollars back into the chickens. As I said, raising chickens isn't cheap, but it isn't all that expensive either. So sell the eggs at a reasonable price that is good for you and the customer. I have a video coming out on June 7th about selling stuff at your farm stand if you're creating one. So selling your eggs for $3 a dozen is a risk, but selling them for $10 a dozen? It's also a risk. Here's a graph I made about selling eggs for $3 a dozen, which is the average that you get them for, but some people sell them for $7 a dozen, which is also a major risk. So remember to make sure that you're taking the proper risks, but make sure it's good for your chickens and also good for your well-being. And that about does it for this video. Thank God. As mentioned, raising chickens is not easy, but it's not hard either. I would recommend starting a farm out with chickens. Chickens are a lot of fun to have around, and thanks for watching. Have a nice day and subscribe. This took way too long.